Patriot mine. As you can see, it's badly collapsed and uh, I can take a peek in here, see what's, see what we can see. Right now I'm kind of standing on these old timbers, which are, this is just a tree trunk on another tree trunk. Um, and here you can see, kind of notched it, notched the wood. That's pretty cool. It's old school mining right there. Okay, so here we are looking into uh, the tunnel. I'm standing on what was uh, the portal or what was underground at one point. Yeah, it's uh, flooded in there. You can see that timber. It's pretty cool. And if we look up above the remaining tunnel, there's this old bridge that ran across uh, sort of collapsed area. And then here's the vein right here. So here's an old door hinge where the portal used to be for the Patriot mine. And there's some shoring right here. Again, this, these are just uh, raw timbers straight from the forest. So uh, pretty cool indication of an old school mine. All right, we made it up to the Black Bear Mine. Um, this is what's left of the adit. As you can see, some of this dirt has just eroded over half of the adit here, but it's still very much accessible. And uh, the rest of the tunnel's open, so we're gonna go on in and check it out. So just inside the Black Bear Mine is this ore cart, which is uh, tipped over. Um, yeah, pretty rare to find in a mine. We're gonna have a closer look in a minute, but that's the ore cart. All right, so we're just past the ore cart right now. Um, I'll get a shot of that as well, but um, the tunnel's turning to the right up here. But you can see the ore cart tracks in this mine are uh, pretty decently, uh, they're, they're high quality ore cart tracks, so. Um, they had a well-funded operation out here, I guess. See all the uh, yeah, yellowcoats in there? Yeah. yeah. Um, that means we're gonna have cocoa pie. Alright, here we're approaching this this bend in the tunnel. Oh, These are really nice ore car tracks on the ground here. So we've rounded this corner, and here's a really nice timbered area, um, a small collapse right here, but we can easily navigate past that. And then the tunnel up there, it looks like it branches off to the left, and then uh, the tunnel, the main tunnel continues forward. Alright, so we're about to navigate through this timbered area, which is probably thousands of pounds of rocks on top of these timbers, but they're actually pretty solid looking, but uh, yeah, we're going to head on that way. Alright, here's the... Uh, the bend in the tunnel and right above us are these timbers holding up the rock. Um, so that's the main tunnel. And then to the left here is a branch. Okay, so this is the main tunnel continuing forward, um, but it actually just dead ends right here. Um, more timbering up here. But what's interesting is in this tunnel they're using uh, wooden ore car tracks, um, while in the rest of the tunnel they they used uh, metal. So don't know why that is, but we're gonna take the left branching tunnel and see where that goes. All right, here's the left branching tunnel. Um, there's some timbering above me here, and uh, another timber section up there. So let's go check it out. It 
it's uh, past that timbered area, um, there's this section that's badly collapsed. Um, and I think the tunnel just ends right back there. Uh, yeah. Right past these timbers is the end of the tunnel. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, we're coming back toward the portal. This is that timbered section, the second timbered section that I was talking about. You can see the shoring here. It's very nicely done. There's another turn in the orchard tracks. Again, here the, the tracks are wood in here, and in the other half of the mines are metal. 